turns out, Latino youth, uh, when it was just starting out, sent a crew over and they took some video, VHS, of this, of this event. Mm -hmm. It was a monumental event, trust me. It was a huge struggle to build Benito Juarez High School. Big battle. Uh, parents and artists and, and my, I think it, my, my cousin was with the Brown Berets. Everybody took a little beating one way or the other. And uh, so with a tough, long struggle, they finally got it built. And then this, this mural was kind of the last part that was done. And believe me, it was uh, uh, just a wonderful thing, the mural. And I'm not going to talk about it, but if you go by there, please take it some time, to, whenever you can, to go by it right next to the soccer field right here on, down Laughlin Street. And you'll see what's mm -hmm. it's there. Most of it's still there. So there's been some damage to it, but most of it's still there. Anyhow, uh, they sent a film crew over, and they took some footage of the guys working on on the end, young lady, a young lady, working on the mural. Her name was Malu Ortega, and she's not here. She's in Mexico City. She went back to Mexico City, so that's why she's not here tonight. But she was our commander. Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, so it's been distilled. The Denise Sacardi, I think she was with that film crew. Back when, but Denise is here. Denise. Thank you, Denise. 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 Yeah. 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 Another part of that history. She now teaches film at uh, various places, community, community uh, film <laughs> centers. And she brought, she got that VHS down to a 10-minute video, which we will show in a couple of minutes after the gentleman speak. Okay, so this is going to be the highlight, and then we go back to partying and smoothing and everything else. Are there uh, full videos available? No. Oh, okay. Uh, with, through Denise, maybe. Okay. You can see Denise later. Not she right. might be able to do that for a nominal fee of 50 bucks or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> you can negotiate that with her. <laughs> but, uh, but we do have a video to show tonight. And so if, I, if I would, may I like to ask them in alphabetical order. To speak, <laughs> that's the fairest way. And I'll put the slide up for a second so that the people will not. Starting with uh, Jimmy Longoria. Jimmy! They can talk for hours. Yeah. Especially Jimmy. No, but I'm going to But I'm asking to make it to two minutes. Two minutes. Oh yeah. No. No. Trust me, that's a it is it is it's a great honor to be back in Chicago. Um the it was really a special, special time. It was an incredible uh moment and in it really I I'm, I'm back to share some of the secrets of that thing. And the first secret you all should know is that I never intended to design it. My intention was to build a career for myself as a mural manager helping great artists to go out there and do projects without having to manage because I'm kind of gifted at gap. <laughs> but um, through a weird way in which personalities and times worked out, I wound up being selected for the design. And then we made history. There are some secrets in there that made the wall last this long. And we're trying right now to line up resources to come back and restore it and to pass on the baton to the next generation of young artists. Next one is uh, his last one's murder is uh, oh, yeah. Shamoya. <laughs> <laughs> Very talented 
<laughs> at least being friends and having to work with people, you know, uh, it has made me uh, who I am today, Chicago also. You know, and it's kind of like a, just a good time to be living in. Following the same words that Robert has, has 
spoken. One of the first murals I had ever seen was Palvan, because they used to take this route where Benito Juarez wasn't. And, uh, and then surprisingly, I became part of this mural that was referring to Ray Patlan, the murals at the end of the block there on, uh, on Lachlan and Blue Island. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I, I recognized and I uh, identified with uh, being born and raised here, just, uh, you know, realizing who you are. So, and it's still continuing that uh, we don't lose some identity that's, well, as artists, I think, doing many levels, music, expression that we do. So it's, it's, uh, then this mural that, uh, it was different. We gave it a, a, a different view. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, a beautiful technique. And like you said, we, we fought, we argued, whatever, whatever. We had fights, but it was part of the learning experience. Mm -hmm. And still, we were at different levels. And we're still growing. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. About the mural, the more I, I, I just had time to study it. I was principal of Mural about the year 2000. So I've walked by that thing constantly. I walk my dog by there every day. So I, I've been looking at the mural. What really I love about it is that it is in the classic style of the great muralist of Rosco, Diego Rivera, Tiqueiros, and yet it still has, it feels very modern. Right. It has, a, it's really timeless in that sense. It has all the traditional stuff there, and the theme, of course, is struggle struggle of people and individuals and, and education as befitting the high school, but still it seems so modern, I think it'll just restore, it's just going to last forever, it'll still be inspiring people forever, mm -hmm. and it will restore, it will, hopefully we can get the story out to those kids on a regular basis, so the students know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, I think that's going to be the best legacy of all. I'd like Absolutely. to mention something. Uh, the uh, MoMA, the Museum of uh, Modern Art in New York, got rid of all this collection of uh, social buildings. So I like to say that this mural is a social realist contemporary. Oh yes, we, we, we have a number of people who are here, yes. Uh, well, from all different things. Obviously, we have a number of people who are graduates of Vito Juarez. Anybody <laughs> graduates of Vito Juarez, please raise your hand. Graduates of Vito Juarez. Oh, there we are. Yeah. 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 We have a teacher of Vito Juarez. <laughs> we also have a number of people here who have been involved in murals themselves, in the mural movement, and uh, uh, John Weber and John Pound. Various people here have been over the years. So I think the mural movement does continue. It's an important part of, of, our, of our culture and, our, and it's expanding to other cultures too. So you see it all over the world now. You see the murals. But uh, there's a new mural that, uh, that, that Jeff Maldonado just did, just did in the community. And of course he had his flash down too, just like they did. <laughs> So, let's see the video. Let's see the video now. And uh, thank you for your attention and your, your continued attention.